currently I'm looking for a spot to mount the PWM controller uh, because with the right hand I'm going to operate the throttle and then with the left hand operate the PWM controller so I'm going to use this, these terminals because they fit perfectly. So So everything is wired now, I'm using this battery because I don't have the other one. The whole sensors, everything, so the only thing remaining is to connect this power, this 12 volt power supply and let's see if it works. So the sprocket came loose, let's see if I can fix it. Now everything is wired back again, but now the whole sensor line, the power line, gives around 4.7 volts, and I think this is the problem. But I'm going to use a 5 volt power bank with a USB to see if that solves the, that solves the problem. So the only thing remaining is to connect this 12 volt power supply and we will be ready to go So in the motor, the middle one is the blue and here is the green, so I switch the blue and the green together and see if it now works. They actually look the same, but the numbers are different. 
because it starts with a K and this starts with an L so this is the uh, the one that doesn't work right now so this is the from the previous video so we will see if I've seen that this works so I'm going to install this and see if it moves I don't know why it jumps So, I don't know how many times I tried this, but I think this is the final one, I hope. That battery is holding at a bit and now the PWM is connected so 